different country have the different lucky birds, right? I heard in Sri Lanka, Kaputa is Sri Lanka lucky bird. <laughs> 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 Tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> I heard because many Sri Lanka people like that bird, but in China it's different. Uh, yeah, uh, in China the magpie is uh, his bird. Magpie is Chinese lucky bird. Yeah, its Chinese name is Xi Chue. Xi Chue. Xi Chue. Xi Chue. Xi Chue. Ah, its Chinese name is Xi Chue. In English, it, its name is magpie. Uh, and the Chinese tradition says a chip, the chip of magpie can bring good news to people. They fly onto the branches of proud blossoms, then to the ordinary people with good news and auspicious omen. And uh, a Chinese legend is a romantic story. It says. Magpie gather once a year on the heaven and make the bridge for a separate couple. When they gather together and form a bridge, then the separate couple uh, across the galaxy, then the separate couple can make each other on the bridge. So Magpie is a, like a kind-hearted passenger. Chinese people love them for their affability. <clears throat> so there's a saying that magpie uh, good deeds, good deeds come with bubble of magpie. Uh, then when you heard the bubble of magpie, it means oh uh, maybe you are you are going to lucky. It will be lucky for you. Some good news for you. Uh, so uh, uh, all about is the introduction of. Uh, uh, another information is the the date of magpie gathered together. Then the separate who separate couple were made together, right? Oh. The date of their dating is the Chinese Valentine's Day. Oh. Valentine's Day is different to the uh, Western Qing uh, uh, Western Valentine's Day is different. Uh, so uh, that's why Chinese people love Bangkok. <laughs> uh, that's it today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I'm very interested. Yes, I'm not high. The color is this, but the crop is dark, right? <laughs>